longer ladies. My name is Olga. Can you introduce yourselves, please? I'm Nathalie Bonville from Montreal, the Montreal Museum of Fine Arts. I'm the director. Nathalie is Russian name. Yes, you're right. <laughs> oh, excellent. And uh, I'm Miranda Wallace. I'm a curator here at the National Gallery of Victoria. Nice to meet you, lovely ladies. Um, I'm first time on such an exhibition of uh, big and very important modern art exhibition. What do you think? What is the highlight of the exhibition? Well, the exhibition, which was first presented in Montreal at the Montreal Museum of Fine Arts, where Nathalie is from, is, um, has, the exhibition is presenting the work of Alexander Calder, mm. whose sculpture you can see behind yes. us here. A very important 20th century sculptor for creating lots of new forms of art, including the suspended moving mobiles that everybody loves, as well as these monumental public sculptures um, that like have this one, like this one, which is a yes. model for yes. a major sculpture in Montreal, yes. a very important city defining sculpture. In fact, if you see the real work, it's seven meters high, I think. Oh, oh is it in yes. Montreal? It is in Montreal. It has oh. been built for the uh, Universal Exhibition in 67. Excellent. How many countries this exhibition took part? Oh. I think it's 21 meters. I'm sorry. It's I'm wrong with like, the figures. It's something like five <laughs> elephants standing on top of oh, each other. Oh, this is good. <laughs> I, I love this metaphor. Yes, yeah, it makes it easier to do yes. it, This exhibition is just two venues. So it's been Montreal and then Melbourne and exclusively yes. in these cities. Oh, excellent. So just only two countries. That's right. Yes. Uh, but this is the first color uh, exhibition in Australia and it was the first exhibition on color, uh, first retrospective in Montreal. So congratulations with your first experience in Australia, which is important. Mm -hmm. Is his um, art and life is well known in Australia? I think people probably recognise the sculptures without necessarily knowing his name in Australia. There are some works in public collections, mainly in Canberra, but yeah. we really don't have a very large collection of Calder in Australia. Mm -hmm. So. A lot, the work, all of the work in the show has come from museums in North America um, and from the Calder Foundation, which is the largest collection of his work. And so all of the work is new for Australian audiences. So I think it'll be an amazing chance for people to really get to know Calder. It's excellent. And I think it's not only for adults, but also for kids, yes. mm -hmm. which it's is important. Mm -hmm. So it's different audition. Uh, it's, it's an interesting point because even if it's a very complex work, because uh, Kader is a major abstract artist. At the same time, it's a feel good exhibition, and yes. everybody enjoyed to see Kader because it's a poetry in motion. So uh, it's definitely for everyone. And it can uh, make the imagination absolutely work better. Mm -hmm. And we've um, also added to the exhibition a children's special children's Wonderful. space, uh, which is a way for children to have hands on uh, art making and come and, and that's a free participatory mm -hmm. exhibition. So, do you have feedback for adults and for kids? Well, I think I really would just encourage people to come, make sure you allow time. It's an exhibition that has to be experienced and the, each work encountered on its own and really to allow you to feel the art in the space that you're in. So this experience can be for whole family, I guess. Yes, definitely for Ex everybody. Excellent weekend mm -hmm. for family and having fun and some something new. You know? Absolutely, wonder yeah. and joy in art. And enjoy, especially when you see sculptures in their moves. Exactly, yes. This is something new, this makes Alexander is different from other um, sculptures. He's really thought of as the artist who really made sculpture move. He, yes. he made the works kinetic, so the air around them moves them. They have that built into their, into their forms. In fact, uh, he's the only artist who had uh, who create a new uh, name for for sculpture? So he was like, the first one yes, who exactly. made the move. The mobile, the mobile. mobile. That's the, exactly. the word that was created for his sculpture. And the stamina. So it's, right. uh, no, it's yes. really uh, it's a very very important artist, but at the same time it's very accessible, yes. joyful, yeah. playful. So what is the future of the uh, exhibition? You guys have some plans to show more countries, more uh, people to recognize his arts? This exhibition is just the two venues yes, yes. because it's quite a, com fragile. quite a complicated process to get all of these sculptures into one place. So it's, um, you know, this is really a once in a lifetime opportunity here in Australia mm. to see the work.
Oh, thank you very much. Uh, we will we'll invite all all our people to encourage them to to enjoy this very important exhibition for kids and adults. Thank, thank you. you. Welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's really thank you. cool, and, and I'm on.